My name is Marty Stalker, I'm a filmmaker and I'm here on set with the Sony E-mount lens system. So I embarked on this filmmaking career about 12 years ago, moving away from a career in secondary school teaching and the Royal Marines. I would say I'm right at the start of my career right now at this point. Change your first positions, your first position is going to be here, you're going to walk to the corner of the, corner of the grass there and do exactly what we did before on the, on the previous take. So you're going to collapse on the ground and then Hugo's going to lick your face. But not yet though, alright? The secret cupboard involves a little boy who's embarking on a new chapter in his life. He's just moved house with his dad. And he leans on his vivid imagination and his best friend, Hugo the dog, to get him through this big, big journey that he's about to embark on. With filmmaking and doing shoots like this in general, you're always sort of fighting to get all the shots within the scheduled time. So to have a, an e-mount system where you can just literally, within, within seconds, you can have a new lens on a camera body is just perfect. We've, we've got loads of times to do the run and stuff, by the way. I just, just want to get, I just want to get them naturally, um, yeah. naturally looking exhausted. Like the, yeah. The focus was no, no, we can, before. we can, we can do loads of that um, after. I just want to get Hugo out of my life, and then um, yeah. in a nice, in a nice way. So this is our last shot with Hugo the dog, and this on the Movi rig with a 16 to 35 Sony lens. So I'm really excited about this. This is going to be the big reveal of the stately home that we're in today. So awesome. <laughs> My name is Bernard Glancy and I was a DOP on the Secret Cupboard film set. On this shoot we decided to select lenses from the Sony E-mount range. For the shot in the gallery we used the FX9 coupled with the Sony 70-200mm lens for that focal length. For the tracking scene in the main hall we used the FX9 mounted on a Wally Dolly and for this shot we selected the new Sony 16-35mm cine lens. To show snippets of the dog in the garden, we're using long lens on the FX9. With the tracking stuff, we're staying on the 16 to 35, purely because it gives us that wide option and also a nice little slightly tighter on the 35 for more of a sort of cinematic feel. There was a particular scene in Secret Cupboard where the child comes to the fire. So I needed the focus to, to change from the fire to the, the child actor. But I also wanted to accentuate his emotions at the fire. So I got Brendan to switch onto the 50 millimeter prime on the FX6 on the gimbal. And I was extremely impressed with how quick it was racking focus from the fire to the child actor. Sony bodies and the Sony lenses are made for each other. They talk to each other. They interact with each other. And that made life so much simpler for a DOP like myself. The main bulk of the film was shot at the beautiful Penthurst Place in Kent. We had a large number of scenes being shot in the gardens, through the mazes and the stunning outside areas. And then inside, you've got these armories, the Great Hall, huge libraries. That really allowed Marty, the filmmaker, to get a good variety of cinematic shots between the DOP and the director. They were making quick decisions on what lens to use, setting up the lighting and trying to manage um, the young boy and the dog. And it was very obvious that you know, they're very familiar and comfortable with the Sony systems and it made their life a lot easier. On days gone by, you might use a mixture of cameras or a mixture of lenses and one would have to try and work out what was the best combination. Here, I didn't have to bother. I knew they would work every time. 17, 18, 19, 20, right, first positions, please. First position, okay, stand by. And action. I wasn't sort of surprised. I always knew Sony were going to eventually delve into this area of the industry. And I'm very impressed so far working with the 16 to 35 Sin lens on this recent project.